Ah, come on. <laughs> hey, hello, people of YouTube. Stay. Hello, people of YouTube. Welcome to a new anime review. And I know I was going to review horror animes due to the because it's the month of October. <laughs> There was one anime that I stopped like mid halfway into. And I just I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way, just watch it, just to watch it. So I'm here to today to give you the review for The Devil Is a Part Timer. That's right. So the story of The Devil Is a Part Timer revolves around a man named Sado or Sado Mao, who is some was at least the former king ruler of the world called Ente Isla. He is the emperor, lord, Satan himself. He's the devil, basically. So one day, after this huge fight that occurred, um, he decides to open a portal to the land of Earth. So, now as normally, magic does not exist in our world. So, Due to the fact that he chose this world to be in, he had no choice but to actually, you know, coexist with humans and actually make a living here in the un here, in the in of course Japan because that's where anime mostly takes place in Japan. So basically, it's about him and his um, companion, Goblin uh, Asu, and it's basically him and a bunch of other characters trying to actually make a living in Earth as normal civilians, not as the devil as he was in his former previous world. <sighs> now, this was an anime that I was always interested in watching. In fact, a friend from school basically told me to actually, yo, you should watch this anime. So I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, why as well. I never expect this anime to be pretty good. It's actually really, really good anime. I, I found it really interesting and all the characters in this anime was well likable, well enjoyable, and all in all, I really did enjoy watching this anime. Let's go into some good aspects of this anime. First of all, its animation is pretty solid. I really enjoyed the animation in this anime. And, and this anime has good special English dubbed uh, Funimation, you lovable bastards, you've always done it, you've always been doing it, you lovable bastards, keep doing what you're doing, you did an excellent job filming the dub for The Devil is a Part-Timer. A-okay job, guys. Good shit. Then, we have the real, the, and this anime is supposed to be an action comedy, and it has pretty intense action scenes in this anime. There are some pretty intense fights, especially episode 12 which is the best episode in the entire series i found that episode to be one of the best episodes of all time in this series by the way just not of all time of all time but just, you know what i mean and the comedy in this anime is really funny i loved the comedy in this anime there was a few laugh out loud moments that i had in this anime now characters going in to supporting to main to side they were all Really, really, really good. I loved every single character in this anime. That's right, even the side characters that were involved in the series. Like, um, Chio, who's basically, um, who's basically the devil's, uh, you know, he, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this while mentioning the story. He works at what's called a McRonald's, which is supposed to be, you know, the anime version of McDonald's. So basically, you know, he has a co-worker who was with a name of Chio, and, she, and, you know, and they, um, have really good bonding moments. I really found their relationship to be the one, uh, it, it's really good. I really love the relationship. It had good chemistry, and I really enjoyed their relationship as a whole. Going in to some of the other characters, we have, um, Asu, basically the comic relief of this anime, and he does his job as a comedy relief Really, really good. There were a few scenes in this anime that really made me laugh because he was in there and it was just so funny. I had no choice but to laugh. Asiyu is the best character in this anime. Going in to other characters, we have Emi Yusa, who's this, um, oh my god. She's all over the place. First, you know, she's stalking. Next, she's kicking ass. Then she's working 
Then she's talking again. She's all over the place. I really enjoy Emmy. She is funny. She is excellent. Her action scenes in this anime were really well done. She was, she was, it's kind of ironic because she was supposed to play the hero. And <laughs> I don't really see her doing much of a human stuff. And her development is the best development in this anime. I really enjoyed her backstory and her relationship with the devil, uh, Sadoma, Sadomao, and and some of the other characters, like we have Chio, her, she and her had a really great bond and relationship. All the characters in this anime was really well done, and I really enjoyed the characters. And, last but not least, it has a really good soundtrack, and stop it all off, its opening theme, really, really, really catchy. I really like the opening theme to this anime. Now, with all the good things that I basically said about this anime, of course, there was a few cons with this anime. Uh, mainly a few. The, uh, first off, we had, they could have added more. And what I mean is, they basically live in what's called, another world called Ente Isla. I would love to know more about this other world. And I really could have enjoyed like an entire episode dedicating to Ente Isla, the world that they basically live in. Yeah, sure, you see a few screenshots here and there, but that's just about it. It's just a bunch of screenshots. You don't really see anything of any value when you come to look to Ente Isla. I want to know more. Second thing is that they, this anime has really good with their language. Uh, there's basically another language that they learn that is really well done. I would have actually learned, like to learn that language if I ever, you know, could ever find a good translator. But <laughs> all in all, I really enjoyed the, the other language that they spoke in this anime. And that also brings back that they could have added more. Like... What was the language that they were speaking? I wanted to know more about that language. It could have been just normal Japanese or normal Japanese or English, depending on what dubbed or sub that you actually watch it on. I watched it in a dub, but still, I would have actually liked to know more about its uh, how its other its other language that was involved in this anime. I really enjoyed that other language. I felt like it was really really well done, and I actually liked it. But at the same time, I really wanted. You know, to see more about the other world, about about Ente Isla, the world that they live in. Like, could could like couldn't we see more of it? You know what I mean? And that's basically it. That's all I basically have to say about this anime. This anime has really really good dub. It has intense action scenes. It has really good uh, comedy. It has excellent characters. And to top it all off, this anime deserves the score that I'm about to give it. This anime is an 8 out of 10. It is an outstanding anime. And if you... I highly recommend to anyone who watches this anime. And it's kind of a shame because this anime has lack of audience in this anime. Uh, in this... Yeah. In this... Uh, at least in the coast of the United States. I really don't know much about Japan. I think Japan actually loves Devil's a Part-Timer. And if they were ever to make a second season, I would be on board with that. It had great, great great story and I would love to see a second season if so if they ever would have done a second season for this anime <sighs> and that will conclude this review and I again I know I'm supposed to review horror animes due to the month of October I'm supposed to watch horror animes trust me I already have one horror anime I do have in mind to watch hopefully I'll start watching it it's uh, again another long weekend yeah I have two long weekends in a row uh and I really hope to actually watch this anime. And I, and I know some some of you might actually be shocked that I never actually seen this anime. You guys might be shocked when I tell you because you're probably gonna be like, you don't know what you're missing, dude. You gotta watch it. It's insane. You'll love it. Hell, I might love it, but I need to actually watch it. And I'm not telling you the anime, of course. But once I film the review, you're most thinking like, damn, we didn't see this anime till now. Holy shit. Well, like, you've been missing a lot, a lot, pal. Anyway, that will conclude this anime video. And I will hope to review yet another one sometime soon. And be prepared for a possibly a new top 10 list coming soon. It's going to be a pretty good long weekend, if I do say so myself. So anyway, 
This is the Crimson Assassin signing out. Peace, YouTube.